Okay, so in this video we're going to look at um, something a little bit different. Um, one of the things you might want to do with your URL filtering is maybe make some websites available at lunchtime. Um, so this is going to be a short little video just showing you how you can use uh, part of the macro language to allow websites at lunchtime. Okay, and we're going to have a quick look at, uh, you're going to use our Facebook example again. Cool, right, so here we can see that uh, Facebook is blocked at the moment. So what we're going to do, uh, the time is 1.30 p.m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rule to make Facebook available at lunchtime. So should we say between 1 and 2. Let's go into our URL filtering and we're going to create a new rule. I'm going to call this lunchtime access. And before we create the rule actually we're going to have to create the list. Now we've got to decide, are we going to just allow all social networking, so we do it by category, or are we going to do it on individual websites, um, or maybe do a combination, we'll do a combination of both. So go to the lists. So we're going to do new category. Okay, um, and we're going to put social working in there okay. and we're going to create a go back to our rules so we're going to create a new rule So what I'm going to do is create the uh, rules first for uh, granting access if you're in the list or in the category. Um, and then once I've done that, make sure that's working, I'm then going to add the time restrictions afterwards. So we're going to add a um, web category. So I'm going to say URL categories um, is at least one in the list. Um, and it's going to be the lunchtime list there. Okay. And then we're going to add a URL. I'm going to say URL uh, matches in list lunchtime website. Okay, so that's the or, one or, one or the other. Um, and also in the action is going to be to stop rule set. Okay. And then that also needs to be moved up. Probably about there. So I'm just going to make sure that works first. So there we go, because it's in that list, we've now got access to it. So the next thing to do is to put the uh, time restrictions around it. So now we work that works, we're now going to go in and add the uh, time criteria around this. So we're going to edit the rule, look at our criteria, and we're going to add some advanced criteria. Uh, and this time we're going to add a date time, and we're going to do a date time range, uh, date time range tree. And in here, we're going to say you look at the parameters, and then we're going to put our date, oh sorry, our time range. So we're going to say um, 1300 to 1400. Okay, so that's the date range. And if it's, then we're going to mark that as true, then we're going to allow access. So this is now where we need to start um, just being a little bit careful because what we need to do is to say whether the date time range equals true and is in the category or is in the URL. So to do that, let's move this up to the top. So we've got our date time range there and then we can put an and there and an or there. And then down here we can put brackets. So we can read this through. So the date time range equals true and A or B. So either it's in a category or is an individual URL. And we're going to save that. Okay, so if we now go and uh, look at our lab server, uh, hit refresh, then as it's lunchtime, we are going to uh, uh, we get access to Facebook. If we go and uh, change the time, let's change the time on the unit. 
Um, so under configuration time, uh, make this a little bit later. You can see that it is blocked now. Now I've changed the time on the uh, on the server. Just to take that one step further, if for instance you wanted to give access, say before nine o'clock lunchtime, and say after five o'clock. This could be done by slightly changing the rule. So what we would do is we'll set the times where this, this rule is disabled as opposed to setting the time when this rule is enabled. So we would do that by say like going nine o'clock. Uh, so let's say nine o'clock. To uh, one o'clock. And then we can put a comma to have multiple uh, date ranges, sorry, time ranges. So let's say 17. So what we're saying is that we want it to return, uh, we want this rule to be active when the time is false, i.e. these are the working hours. So outside the working hours is false. So when it equals false, then the rule will be active. So we change it from true to false. Leave this uh, the same here. So when we're outside that time range, so that's a false, and we're in one of those categories, or in one of those categories, we've got the brackets here, then we'll allow access. So that kind of allows you to extend that, that rule to be more encumbersome than just dealing with lunchtime. So this is the end of the video. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm James Sillett, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can contact me by any of the means shown below.